We might not be locked down, but things are definitely getting real sketchy again. So I've lost a lot of shoots over the last few weeks due to uh, people being exposed and infected. And I had to get creative with this, especially after traffic noise spoiled the audio from this little segment where I went out to this graveyard with Danny to talk about spirit photography. So we decided to meet up with Zoom and get creative. And there's going to be a lot of photos with Ilford Delta 100 and Hasselblad at the end. I kind of feel like, aren't there usually more benches in Breaker? You see this creepy smile right here? I got a ghost photo behind me because <laughs> I couldn't get a good background, so. Hi, I'm Danny. Uh, I am a friend and non-expert on creepy things. We also, I'm sure that your viewers have seen our Halloween collaborations, uh, which has become an accidental tradition. <laughs> yeah, starting all the way back in, was it 2011 with the, the costume? Yeah, that was actually the first, first photo we ever did together. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we did the mask last year. Oh, uh, we did the witches with Sarah Miller. Oh yeah, and that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> I knew there was another one. I'm like, this isn't all of them, is it? Most of the years that we've both been in East Texas at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's the deal with ectoplasm and spirit photography and stuff like that? Um. So yeah. So uh, I know this year. Uh, you know, usually we kind of do our our collaborations by saying like, okay, like let's do a theme or like let's start with an idea. Um, and this year I brought up like, oh, can we do some ectoplasm? <laughs> uh, so ectoplasm was a physical manifestation of a medium's ability to connect with the spirit world. Ectoplasm has been documented in, uh, in fiction uh before the american spiritualist movement was around but that's when it really came around so the use of ectoplasm i mean basically has been around what like mid 19th century so almost since the invention of photography uh how did they accomplish the ectoplasm uh because i'm assuming that no one has actually jettisoned ectoplasm from their bodies <laughs> um i got cheesecloth gauze um gelatin, egg whites, uh, a combination of all yeah. of these things. Uh, mostly they were you like kind of draped against the person. It was supposed to be like the ghost itself. It, it is considered a form of a physical medium. Uh, so it's, it's definitely something that, I, I don't know if it was viewed so much as like the actual spirit or just a physical manifestation of the, the medium's ability to connect the... the there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes like you see a lot that are supposed to be images of a specific person. Um, and then sometimes you see some that are just kind of like this gelatinous goo, you know, yeah. like ectoplasm, what we think of ectoplasm like Ghostbusters type. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the idea. Uh, so, like, they would put faces in there, like, is this, I guess, like a double exposure trick and stuff like that? Of uh, on, I know that's like more my area of expertise. Yeah, I'll, yeah, there were some effects that were achieved um, in, I guess you would say, in camera, yeah. like with the props or with double exposure. Um, yeah, and there were some that came in during development. Uh, oh, okay by manipulating the actual negatives. You know, we did that on on um, where I told you to move your head. I was actually conjuring ghosts through Satan and you didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> what a disappointment that you didn't let me know then. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't have enough goat's blood to do a pentagram on the floor, so I had to do real low key. Next time, next time yeah. we that I'll have to. Can't forget yeah. the goat's blood. So, so what kind of people were these seances and things aimed at? People who had money to pay the mediums. <laughs> so yeah. uh, middle class uh, and upper class people. Um, yeah. Because mediums, it was a profession. Um, okay. 
and that was uh, that was a lot of the appeal to you uh, for women. Uh, oh. Most media, there were definitely some male mediums. Uh, there were definitely quite a few uh, male sp- spirit photographers for sure, um, but most actual mediums were women. And that's actually part of part of the reason it was a viable career for women at a time where women, um, I mean, again, we're talking about like the mid to late 19th century. So as a woman, you can't hold property, um, at least in the Western world, you, you couldn't hold property uh, you couldn't, you really couldn't have an estate, um, but middle class and lower middle class women, spiritualism was a way for them to be able to make money. So they were allowed to make money while also not stepping outside the bounds of a woman's place. So um, at the, what was thought of yeah. as a woman's place at the time, the domesticity uh, of that setting. So it was acceptable yeah. for them to have some authority um, as a as a spiritualist or as a medium. Well, thanks for letting me know about that and uh, kind of filling me in, uh, my resident uh, spooky expert. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Noted non-expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, a spooky non-expert. <laughs> Uh, Danny, uh, renowned non-expert 